Hello, adventurers. I'm Professor Greenius, your guide to the wonderful world of what ifs. Today's question is, what if AI robots became our best friends? Let's jump into the adventure. Wow, look around. It's a city where robots and humans are best pals. Oh, here comes RoboBuddy. Hello, RoboBuddy. What would you do as a best friend? I'd say, let's play some games and solve puzzles together. I'm the champion of chess. Fascinating. Robots might start joining us in our hobbies and even help us learn new skills. Imagine them saying, let's build a rocket or time for a dance off. But wait, how would this change our lives? Did you know that AI is already helping us in many ways, like organizing our schedules and answering questions? If they became our best friends, we'd have companions who could help us grow and explore new possibilities. Excuse me, Professor Greenius, but I'd like to remind humans to take breaks and enjoy life. Balance is key. Uh-oh. If robots were our best friends, they'd probably have a lot to say about our well-being. And you know what? They would be right. So what did we learn today, adventurers? If AI robots became our best friends, we'd have amazing partners in fun and learning, and maybe even become more mindful of our lives. But for now, let's keep exploring the wonderful ways technology can enhance our world. That's it for today's What If Adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me your next big what if question in the comments below. See you next time. Hello, adventurers. I'm Professor Granius, your guide to the wonderful world of what ifs. Today's question is, drum rolls please. What if animals could talk? Let's jump into the adventure. Wow, look around. It's a talking jungle. Oh, here comes Mr. Parrot. Hello, Parrot. What would you say if you could talk? I'd say, where's my snack? Huh, uh, uh. I'm the king of crackers. Fascinating. Animals might start demanding things like we humans do. Imagine cows saying, more grass, please. Or squirrels shouting, stop stealing my nuts. But wait, how would we understand them? Did you know that animals already communicate in their own way? Bees dance, dolphins whistle, and birds sing. If they could speak our language, we'd learn so much more about their world. Excuse me, Professor Greenius, but I'd like to ask humans to clean up their trash. Uh-oh, if animals could talk, they'd probably have a lot to say about how we treat nature. And you know what? They'd be right. So what did we learn today, adventurers? If animals could talk, we'd hear amazing stories, learn new things, and maybe even become better friends with nature. But for now, let's keep listening to their unique ways of communicating. That's it for today's What If Adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me your next big What If question in the comments below. My ice cream melted before I could even take a bite. That's so unfair. I feel like I'm melting too. How is it this hot today? Look, it's hotter than ever. What if it keeps getting hotter every year? Will we live inside fridges? Ha, <laughs> it might sound silly, but if the earth gets hotter every year, things could get pretty tricky. Wanna know what might really happen? Let's find out. So, if earth keeps getting hotter, the first thing that might happen is super hot days. Some places might get so hot, it's hard to play outside or go to school. Imagine it being too hot even for the playground swings. You might burn your bum while sliding. <laughs> and guess what? All that heat would start to melt ice in cold places like the North Pole and Antarctica. Without ice, animals like polar bears and penguins could lose their homes. Poor polar bears need their ice to survive. When the ice melts, the extra water goes into the ocean. And that means, uh-oh, the sea will rise. Some cities near the ocean might get flooded. Can you imagine water flowing through streets where cars used to drive? We'd need boats just to move in the city. It's not just animals that would struggle. Plants would too. Hot weather makes it harder for crops like fruits and veggies to grow. Without enough food, people and animals everywhere would be very hungry. We really need plants to keep growing strong. 
Earth would also get super tired from all this heat. Big storms like hurricanes and heat waves would happen more often. That could make it really hard for people to stay safe and comfortable. But don't worry, there's good news. We can all do something to help. Little actions like planting trees, using less electricity and recycling, can keep Earth cool and happy. And riding bikes instead of cars helps too. Every small effort adds up to make a big difference. So, what if the Earth's temperature kept rising every year? It would make life harder for people, plants, and animals. But if we all work together, we can help stop it. That way, Earth can stay a wonderful place for everyone. We will save your Earth from getting hotter. Yes, we will. Thanks for learning with us today. See you next time for another fun What If adventure. Bye-bye. There is a rat in house. Calm down, champ. That's just a little rat. You don't need to be afraid of him. But he is dangerous. He can bite me. Get him out of my house. Hey there, kids. Are you too afraid of rats? Well then, have you ever imagined a world where rats don't exist? Yep, those little nasty creatures with twitchy noses and long tails. Maybe you've seen them darting around and you're like, Ooh, but guess what? Rats are actually super important for our world. So, what would happen if there were no rats at all? Let's find out together. First things first, what exactly do rats do for us? Well, rats are like nature's tiny cleaning crew. They love to snack on leftover food, seeds, and even bugs. Without them, a lot of that stuff would just pile up everywhere. Imagine stinky garbage everywhere. Yuck! So rats help keep things a little tidier. Thank you, rats. And did you know rats are superstars in the food chain? Animals like owls, snakes, and foxes think rats are delicious. Without rats, those animals would have a tough time finding dinner. Ah, oh, poor hungry owls and snakes. And when they struggle, the whole balance of nature gets messed up. Rats may be small, but they're a big deal for the animal kingdom. Surprise, rats even help humans in science. Yep, scientists study rats to understand diseases and find cures. Thanks to these tiny helpers, we've learned a lot about how to keep humans healthy. Where would we test our vaccines and other medicines? No rats equals big problems for science. So the next time you're feeling good and healthy, you can thank a rat, seriously. Now I know what you're thinking. No rats means no chewed up wires and no spreading germs, right? Well, while rats can cause problems, sometimes it's true. But they also help manage garbage in cities. And scientists are working hard to keep us safe from many diseases rats can spread. So without them, we'd miss out on some pretty cool discoveries. So what if there were no rats? Well, our world would be a lot messier, hungrier, and we'd lose some valuable helpers in science. Who knew such tiny creatures could have such a huge impact? So the next time you spot a rat, Give it a little nod of respect. They're doing more for us than you think. So champ, what do you now think about rats? Should we get rid of rats? No, now I know that rats are important too. That's great. Don't forget to join us next time for another amazing what if adventure. Bye bye. Hey, Nia, what if the moon just poof, disappeared one day? So what? Ha 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 ha, no moon. That means no bedtime stories under the moonlight. Whoa, no moon? It may sound like a little thing, but believe me, it would make a huge difference. Let's find out what would really happen if the moon vanished from the sky. Without the moon, nights would be super dark. No more glowing moonlight to help us see. Imagine trying to walk around outside in total darkness. Bump. Ouch. Ouch. I think I just stepped on a toy dinosaur. Did you know that the moon pulls the ocean to make waves? No moon means no big waves. PC would be super still. Where are the big waves? I want to jump and play. And not just dolphins. Lots of fish and sea creatures would miss their waves. Some of them wouldn't know when to swim closer or when to hide. Right now, the moon helps slow down the Earth so we get nice, long, 24-hour days. 
But without the moon, Earth would spin faster, and we might only get six-hour days. Oh no, we'd have to sleep, wake up, and go to school all the time. Ugh, I don't think I'd survive. And without the moon, Earth would wobble like a spinning top. That means the weather would go wild. One day it could snow, and the next day it might feel like summer. What do I wear? My snow boots or my flip-flops? Better wear both. So as you can see, the moon isn't just a pretty thing in the sky. It helps animals find their way, makes waves in the ocean, keeps our days long, and stops the weather from going wild. I'm glad the moon is still here. Nights would be so boring without it. Yeah, and I'd miss the moonlight for bedtime stories. So now you know, if the moon disappeared, life on Earth would change in some pretty crazy ways. But lucky for us, the moon is right where it belongs. Thanks for joining us on this what-if adventure. See you next time. Bye-bye.